Okay, and then, when I blink. <laughs> this is me immediately after figuring out how to use my blinks as an input. Insane. Very fun meme time. The obvious next step was using my blinks to shoot. ADS. And then the blink. The blink shoots. <laughs> it's still sick. And just getting the program to this point was not easy to do. My wife's in the, in the other room asleep. But there is one small problem with the program, and that's when you blink to press mouse one, you literally can't see. You, you can't see. So unless Tweedledee Apex Predator decides to stop bouncing around like a monkey. Dude, that was so cool. It was kind of sick. The fact that you're shooting with your eyes just makes it 10 times better. You're probably not going to hit him with your eyes closed. So even if in theory you could move your eyelids faster than your finger, you still can't see. But what if there was some way we could modify the program to where we're still using our eyelids, but we can also see? Oh! Is there some way that I could use my eyelids to control the game that gives me an advantage? Welcome to Oddly Exploitable, where we game just outside the rules. Be careful or your input might become an input. Cause and effect. You go to your homie's house, Brandon, and there's like a party going on, a bunch of half-drank bottles of water, right? You decide, yeah, I'm gonna drink all these half-drank bottles of water, play some Russian roulette with my immune system. <laughs> effect is you're sick as ball. You're sick now. You're very <laughs> sick. And Brandon's mom won't let you come over. So me, being epic, funny, good time YouTuber guy, learns to write code in Python, develops program that learns to read eyes, and then use my blinks to make a terrible staring contest in Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> It did zero research on the effects of not blinking for long periods of time. Guess what it is? Blindness. You can go blind. So anyway, here I am, not blind. But I did have a very unpleasant next few days with like floaters in my eyes. And it was itchy, man. So yeah, the program's pretty cool. Can make you go blind. Very neato. But I got to thinking, what if it's the opposite? What if I kept my eyes closed and then when I open them, it's like, you know, like, like the, like the X-Men guy. <laughs> Okay, I have to, I have to open. Dude, that's kind of sick. Like I just, I, my eyes are closed, I can't. Sick, right? Except then, you still can't see until you are shooting. So, still pretty trash. Uh, my eyes are open, mouse one is held, basically. But what if I really fine tuned it, and I could squint, and then when I open my eyes all the way, then it decides to shoot. It would take a lot of fine tuning, but here's the thing, squinting actually helps you focus. No cap, dude. Real science, real science. Air friction isn't real. Stop commenting that. You know, frictionless. So if I were squinting constantly, helping me focus, combined with the fluidity of being able to use my eyelids to trigger shooting in game, would that give me an advantage? Here I go, pretending to know how to use Python again. The program works by reading the distance between my eyelids and spamming the L key if they're too close together. It's measured by something called a blink ratio. So there is a super top secret coding method to swapping it to shoot when my eyes are open instead of shooting when they're closed. Super top secret uh. coding. There we go, that's it. That should just change it to where now I open my eyes really high so I can squint. But like, how often does something actually work, right? And because I knew someone would comment it, I tried using sunglasses to cover my eyes and it didn't work. So what a stupid idea from the comment section. How is it still detecting my eyes? How? Huh? The heck? Is it broken? Did it, did it break? Uh-oh. No, no, no. That's not good. It just wrote a bunch of L's in my code. With that out of the way, the next step was trying to get the program to be more precise. So, boom. I wonder if we can just zoom in on my face like that. Nope. We're just gonna mount it right here. Then it'll have maximum detection. Maximum detection. I ended up having to mount the webcam to my desk about five inches from my face. Incredibly flattering. You got games? The final step was a time lapse of fine tuning the program to only blink at a minute movement from my eyelids. Lucky for us, it only took seven seconds. I am coding, my dude. <laughs> Um, so I think if it's all working, please work. I should be able to basically open my eyes a little bit wider and that's what'll make me shoot. So, okay. Did you see that? Oh. With the program focused on my eyelids and reacting to the smallest hint of movement, it was time to see how useful it could actually be. Let's do this. Hmm. 
Interesting. It works. It's working. You can't hold mouse one. You can't hold mouse one. Dude, that guy's so bad. I'm gonna punch him. You're trash. <laughs> you can't hold mouse one. Major flaw. You cannot hold mouse one. It is clear that this is going to take some tweaking. Oh! Correct. Dude, I was hitting my shots with it though. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, so one, very sick. Two, major flaw. Three, I was freaking hitting my shots, dude. Okay, we need to disable it. And we need it to hold. Like it's very crucial that it acts the same as mouse one and isn't just tapping it really fast or spamming L. I had to rewrite a small portion of the code to make it hold mouse one instead of kind of spamming it. So we need to bring up like this, uh, this directory or whatever. That should be easy enough, right? Time lapse, go. This was extremely simple to me because of how well versed I am in coding in Python. All right, now we're gonna open up the camera. Okay, so now I have to I have to squint just a little. I have to squint just a little, but then it's easier for me to hold it. Okay. That, that's sick. That's much more responsive than anything I've done up into this point. Dude, that's actually, that's laser vision. Oh my goodness. Okay, we found the sweet spot, dude. We gotta get in there. And then I discovered how difficult it was to use semi-auto weapons with this setup. Dude, 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 it like bugged out. It like bugged out. I was sitting there, I was like distorting my face. The problem is with semi-auto weapons now, in order to fire again, I have to close my eyes and reopen them and close my eyes and reopen them every single time I want to shoot. I guess technically if you're using a semi-auto weapon, you just have to blink a bunch, but it's more optimal with fully auto weapons. That is kind of difficult to do, to be honest. Like, it's difficult to move my eyes that fast because it's just not something I've, like, trained my body to do before. So even though there was some limitations of how you had to play when you were using this, something about it did feel instinctive. Like, I knew exactly when to open my eyes. Correct. Dude, we're insane. So this is another situation where it would take hundreds of hours of testing to know for sure. But I do know that in just this little bit of testing that I did do, it was pretty nuts. Oh, baby, with my eyes. Oh my goodness, let's go. Dude. Oh my goodness, that's nuts. I don't, I look, I can't tell you if that's better than clicking or not, but all I know is I hit the shots and we won. That's insane. Like, it, it's like, it's like I just, I, I like sense it, bro. It's like I feel in the force. I literally opened my eyes and it just, it just knocked him, dude. I don't, it's, a, it's like something instinctually, instinctually my eyes just like hit the shot, dude. And then because of that, we won. I don't know, bro. Like, I, honestly, I, I don't know. Audience has to decide. That's insane. That's insane. But what do you think? Is this concept oddly exploitable or is it just useless? Vote on the poll that's live on my community tab right now. So far y'all have thought every single concept is exploitable. So I think I have to get dumber. Just passing through.